Brentuximab vidotin was basically approved to, uh, now back in August 2011 for really two indications in the U.S. It's also been able to gain a approval in Europe as well, most recently, but the two indications that it was approved for were in treatment of patients with Hodgkin lymphoma uh, for patients in third-line settings, so patients who had received frontline treatment, uh, then developed uh, relapsed or refractory disease, went on and received additional uh, chemotherapy and had previously undergone an autologous stem cell transplant, so therefore patients who have received two different types of lines of therapy. And then for patients with anaplastic large cell lymphoma, it was approved in the second line setting. So it was approved for use based on the pivotal trial that we just talked about uh, for patients who had received some type of frontline treatment, generally with CHOP or a similar type of regimen, but then developed relapsed disease. And now we're looking at it in the frontline setting, both for Hodgkin lymphoma, as well as also anaplastic and other CD30 positive T cell lymphomas. The reason why we wanted to, within this trial, really expand beyond uh, anaplastic large cell lymphoma is that we know about a third of the patients who have the other types of mature T cell lymphomas also express CD30. So we thought that this was definitely a very valid combination of the chemotherapy with the drug to assess for that patient population. And there's also other uh, clinical trials going on as well where we're looking at um, what is the uh, effectiveness of the agent if you give it for other CD30 positive lymphomas? So this could include uh, patients, say, with uh, diffuse large B cell lymphoma who also at times can express CD30. And then we're also looking at it um, in other um, uh, settings as well. Um, there's going to be um, both for anaplastic large cell lymphoma and other CD30 positive lymphomas as well as also Hodgkin lymphoma uh, two large phase three randomized trials which are going to be commencing and enrolling patients very shortly.